What is going on, amazing, beautiful people? Your boy Jeffrey Gamer is back at you with another LSPDFR GTA 5 tutorial. And today, guys and gals, we're going to be installing a like a role play uh, animation uh, menu into our game. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Um, not sure if this is new or updated, but it's definitely uh, worthy enough to do a video on and go into the game and check it out. Make sure you watch the full video up into the showcase so that you know how to properly install this mod and have it work for you. All right, first thing you wanna do is click the link down below that says role playing animation menu 1.2. Uh, big shout out to DPZ. And if you look right here, you can see, you know, what it's got, some of the some of the features of it and, you know, what, what it does right here, some of the animations. And those are pretty cool. Um, arm animations, dance animations, all this stuff are here. And we're gonna go into the game and check it out. And I like how it's got the keybind system and it shows you right here what it does. So uh, we do need Rage Native and Rage Plugin Hook. So if you have LSPDFR and a bunch of mods, chances are you already have these. Um, but we're going to show you, we're going to we're gonna install Rage Native UI, okay? All right, so first thing you want to do is click this link right here that says download this file and agree and download. It should download fairly quickly as it's not a super... Uh, heavy mod so you shouldn't see any frame drops that downloaded really quick um now I'll click the link down below that says rage native ui uh and this is uh by alex guire and right here you want the rage native ui zip click that and that downloads super fast as well boom look at that already done all right we're gonna go back to this and i'm gonna hit back so that i can keep this up right here on my other monitor so i can just look at it when we go into the game. Just look at it. Show up yeah, because they had to look time. at it. You know they had to the, look at that. You know what the judge did? He probably he told you to look at it. Uh, the case. A, he probably had to look at it and say, look at that. And I asked um, all right, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, for Steam users, you're going to bring up your main directory. And doing that, you're going to go to your disk drive that your Steam games are installed through. Program files x86. Steam. Steam apps, common. Okay, your GTA folder or folders should be right there. And mine are on a different drive, so let me go to mine. Here's all my GTA folders. I'm gonna double click this one right here. And here's the main directory front page, okay? You've got your plugins folder, your mods folder, your LSPDFR folder. Now, if you scroll down, you can already look and see if you have Rage Native UI already installed. I do because I have a bunch of mods and some of them require this Rage Native. So I already have that installed. Double check that. If you already have this installed, you won't need to do this part right here, okay? Um, so, uh, first thing we wanna do, folks, is let's just go ahead and drop that Rage Native in. Uh, so make sure you got your Rage Native WinRAR open and you just want the Rage Native UI.dll. You're gonna left click that, drag it right here. Do not drag it on top of these folders to where it lights up that folder. All right, you just want to drag it right over here in this blank space and then just drop it in. I'm not going to drop it in. I already have it. Um, and then once you do that, that's it. You can exit out of that WinRAR. And now we have our role play uh, plus animation menu, uh, two files right here. Um, so here's what we want to do. We want to install it into our plugins folder. So double click plugins. And here's our plugins. Now we have a lot in here. You don't want to go any further. You want to stay right here, all right? You're simply going to highlight these two. Oopsie, come on now. Highlight those two files. Roleplay DLL, Roleplay INI. Left click, drag them in here, drop them in. There they are. Now, we want to click this Roleplay INI, the one with the sprocket on it. Double click that. And this is where uh, you can... I believe you can change all this. This is all the animations it does. Holy cow, that's a lot. You got mic interview. Oh my God, this might be a little more extensive than I thought. So to open the menu is F6 in menu change keybind modifier is the shift key to reset the animation is R. So none of these are set up to a keybind and I'm wondering if you do that in the game and we're gonna we're going to open up the menu in the game. We'll check it out. So um, I'm also going to set this over here. This is going to go over here. Um, so I can just look at that for quick reference. All right. So we're all set with this INI. We are all set with our file explorer. 
one more step you want to do folks and if you don't do the step it's not going to work all right now what you want to do is you want to fire up your uh your rage plug-in hook like you're playing lspdfr and hold your shift key it is going to pop up the rage menu okay you're simply just going to want to click plugins and there it is right there role play plus you're going to want to make sure that's checked if you do not do this this load this plugin will it just will simply not load up into your game all right so once that's checked make sure everything else is checked and then save and launch and folks we'll see you in the game all right everybody so here we are in the game first test pass with flying colors we loaded in no crashes we forced duty no crashes we are currently on duty right now and let's check it out so i'm gonna hit my f6 to bring up the menu right there there it is now it does say that if you want to um if you want to set something to your animation you press shift and enter while doing the animation and then press any key you want to assign it will automatically save you can change the shift modifier in the menu and to delete a key bind you, you press shift and enter and then space bar you can also change the menu key and the cancel animation so which the cancel animation is our let's let's take a look at a few of these right here okay uh so we have we have new walking styles which maybe a lot of these oh there's injured that's pretty cool i don't know if any of these are through the m menu um but there's that um arms arms crossed so let's hit that now press enter to play animation press you can see right there in the bottom menu press the shift key and enter to change the key bind okay so if we want arms crossed i'm gonna i'm gonna press my r key to stop animation there we go and let me get out of this menu and let me see what i might be able to use so my h key h key as in henry i'm hitting it and it's not doing anything so go back into the menu by hitting f6 and what's something that we use uh let's try gestures bring it on this is this is pretty awesome people so head no head no so begins with h no okay we're gonna do that so we're on head no we're gonna press shift enter and then h look at that and it says that it automatically puts it in the i and i all right so we're gonna we're gonna back out now and let's hit our h key and it works y'all listen 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 everybody this is a game changer this is a game changer for content creators like me who like to do some role-playing stuff and really add that immersiveness to your game let's check out a couple more f6 to bring up the menu and what's attach cigarette cigar joint no we're not gonna do any of that um cop let's see what's under cop neil hold belt hold vest which this guy's not wearing a vest but still uh right ticket look at this y'all you got notepad you've got your clipboard the traffic wand <laughs> oh my god everybody this is pretty great hold belt one hold belt two hold belt three hold belt four knuckles classified so it's like folders taking photos and you got some binoculars folks this is this is something else right here y'all this is something else and you got a bunch of like lean and sit you know lean one lean two obviously if you're up against a wall or a car uh you've got sit sit two a lot of these 5m style animations um and then you've got things with objects if you want to have objects so you've got the mic you've got the mic interview this is so fucking crazy 
This is so crazy, y'all. Garbage. You're taking out some garbage. Box. Oh, man. Uh, like cinematic videos and stuff like that. This is going to be... Uh, this is going to be absolutely amazing. Um, and can you walk with these? You sure can. Folks, this is our this is our thumbnail right here. This is our thumbnail right here. I love it. I love it, folks. It, it's super easy to install. You just take those two files and pop them in there. And again, uh, your R key will cancel the animation, uh, which I think I want to change that. I don't, I don't want to be throwing punches to cancel an animation. I, by default, the R key is your punch key. Uh, I have never changed that key, so uh, that's got to get changed. That's the only thing I would probably change is the cancel animation uh, key, which is the R, which throws a punch. So, um, folks, that is going to be it for this video. Get this mod installed in your game. I give it an A. I think it's great. It's absolutely amazing. It adds so much more possibilities to your role play when you're when you're when you're in your game um yeah that is gonna do it if you're new here and you liked what you've seen and you feel i'm deserving please consider giving this video a thumbs up the more thumbs up this video gets the more people it can reach and teach as it hopefully did with you um and also consider giving the the the, the video a subscription hit that subscribe button Ring that bell so you know new content's added. Um, until next time, everybody, be safe, be healthy, be positive. Follow the rules and obey the law. Your boy Jeffrey Gamer is out. We'll see you all in the next one. Later, y'all.